Hi, Hiram here. Another stove I need to catch up with is the Evernew Titanium Burner used with the Evernew Titanium Stand DX set. Now according to the Evernew people, this set is a quote, bi-level jet system, create strong stable flame, fuel capacity 7 millimeters, milliliters. Uh, DX stand allows for multi-fuel versatility, wood, solid fuel, alcohol. It also acts as a pot stand and provides protection from the wind. <coughs> Excuse me. They also included the statement, the cross stand gives an optimal height to burn the stove efficiently. Which kind of confused me because the cross stand isn't used in this set. I was also confused because while a cross stand, remember this one, the cross stand may give optimal height for burning using alcohol, but this, uh, using the TI, the titanium burner, but I don't think that this DX set does. Again, just my opinion. This is what it looks like with the burner already in it. This is the storage position. I'll give you the dimensions down below in the text area. Now according to the manual that was included with this, all you got to do is take this part off. This is the upper plate, the lower plate, and inside there's a uh, power plate. But all you have to do is take this off, flip it, put it back on. Line, got to line up these holes. Just like that. And that's supposed to be the stove. I seriously have my doubts here. I mean, hopefully you can see this. That's a huge amount of space that that flame is supposed to go to to get to the bottom of the pot. Way, way, way past the uh, sweet spot. Now the only thing I can think of is that this power plate that they include put this stuff all back in, line it all up. This power plate sets in there like that. Now the power plate is about an inch above the burner. But then you also have all this space. So I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work. What I'm going to do today is a boil test with the stand in this position. I seriously think that Something like that is probably going to work better than this whole thing together. But for my first test, I'll do it the way they said it because after all, it's their stove. They should know what works. So let me get some water prepped, some alcohol in here, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, there we have the water at 60 degrees, two cups of it. Now it says to light this from this ignition hole here. In the manual, okay, that lit. Let's wait for the jets. Okay, they lit, lit a little bit faster there. Now I am using the for real Evernew titanium burner, not the knockoff. Okay, there we got jets. Two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. And let's see if, how long it takes for this to get to a boil. There we are at two minutes. The temperature was up to 112 degrees. This is really very surprising. But I think hopefully you can see on this, this whole upper chamber is just full of flames. The titanium is red hot there at the top openings. The flames are coming out and spreading across the pot. But uh, that is red. I hope it shows up on the camera. So, let's see how long it takes for this to get to a boil. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 4 minutes 45 seconds. Now that's surprising. 4 minutes 45 seconds. Okay, and that was with 1 fluid ounce, 25.2 grams of methanol. You've got to be able to see now how red this top is. That is soaking up some heat. 
but it still got to boiling in a fairly short time. So let's see how long it takes for this to run out on that one fluid ounce. Wow, the flames are going. Going. And gone in 6 minutes 15 seconds. That was kind of surprising too. Okay. So surprising, surprising. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature is 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 26.8 uh, degrees centigrade. Humidity is 69% wet, sunny outside, very humid outside. And that got two cups of water to a boil in 4 minutes 45 seconds. And that's without the power plate on it. And then ran out in 6 minutes 15 seconds. So I'll take it back. I really thought this would be way too high in here, but it seemed to focus it and even with all of the heat that was being soaked up by the titanium here this was red hot it still got the stuff to a boil in a decent time hmm so I guess my next test will be to see what kind of results we get using that power plate in there but uh, I'm not sure what it does so anyway I'm still I'm trying to think here so I thank you for watching I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.